Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today is the day 32 for our PCNSA series. So friends, I have already covered about the URL filtering concepts in my previous video. If you have not watched it, I will highly recommend you to watch because I have explained about how exactly it works theoretically. In this video, I am going to explain how to configure URL filtering in Palo Alto Firewall and what is the use of SSL decryption to block any URL, why we, it is needed, right? And generally, uh, how to block YouTube or any other websites uh, through the URL filtering, we will we'll try to show that, okay? And how to verify whether the, whether the URL is getting blocked or not. This is very real time and practical topic that I wanted to cover in this video. So I'll highly recommend you to please watch this till the end so that you will, it will help you in a real world scenarios as well as it also helps you to understand the concept practically. So I'll also request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any video from me. So without any further delay, let's get started. So friends, let's take a look at how we can configure a URL filtering in Palo Alto firewall, right? So to do this particular task, we'll go and hit the lab and we'll see how we can configure it. So this is the lab and I have taken a very simple lab as I took the same lab for my SSL decryption as well. If you have not watched that, please go and watch because SSL decryption is also needed to understand URL filtering, right? So as we will be using a test PC over here, as you can see in this particular topology, okay? So we will be initiating traffic from this test PC and it goes to Palo Alto firewall. Palo Alto firewall will do a URL filtering, right? And then the traffic will be traveling towards internet if Palo Alto allows that connection, right? This is internet. And through this, we are going to manage the Palo Alto. We are going to configure the Palo Alto firewall, right? Now let's move on to the dashboard of Palo Alto firewall and we'll see what we are going to do. Now before move on, I just wanted to uh, let you know that we have already configured the IP addresses, okay, the routing part, like the static route, the default route which needs to be pointed. And third, we have configured the policies, okay, we have configured the NAT configuration as well as we have already configured the SSL decryption. So you have to do all this configuration to do the URL filtering. So if you have not configured all this, I'll request you or if you are not doing this configuration, it will not work. So you have to do all this configuration to, to see how all this can configure. You can uh, basically go to my older videos or the previous session videos. You can just have a look and uh, I have already explained how to do all these configurations, okay? Now let's open the GUI of Palo Alto Firewall. So this is the dashboard of Palo Alto Firewall. I just wanted to show you that IP address is already configured, okay? And if I wanted to show you the certificates, where is the certificates? So we have already generated the certificate and made the certificate as forward trust because it has to do the SSL decryption. And if you go to objects, okay. So I've already configured the decryption profile as you can see. And uh, in the decryption, we have a pol policy in place as well, right? And to allow the traffic, I have configured the security policy and uh, to do the NAT, I have already configured the NAT configuration as well. So these are the configuration i have already done it now we are going to do the url filtering to configure the url filtering you have to go to objects okay and then you have to go to url filtering 
Now in the URL filtering, you will see a default policy already configured, not policy, it's a profile which is already been configured. And if you just open it, you cannot go and edit anything. Okay. So basically it is in read only mode. You cannot edit it or it has some standard accesses as well. So if I just wanted to show you something like uh, command and control like uh, CNC, uh, compromise websites are basically blocked. So it is a standard access which is created by Palo Alto Networks when they have built the PANOS. Now let's clone it. So we are going to create a new, okay? And let's put a name, something like uh, my lab profile, okay? Now, uh, if you can see over here, these are the category total 88 categories are there and they are increasing the categories. Now in 88 categories, if you can just put some of those categories allowed, some of them an alert and we have already seen the actions, what or what are the uh, action it takes. Uh, for every category let's say for an example if i take any of the examples like this one we have alert we have allow block continue and override right and let's create this profile or the the url profile and we have to go and we can basically call this inside the policy where we have to basically implement this security policy. Okay. So this is the way we are configuring the URL filtering. Okay. Now we'll go further and we'll try to edit some of the URL filtering categories. We'll put some blocks, we'll put some actions and we'll, we are going to test it. So this is the way we should configure a URL profile and we have to call under this secure and uh, uh, the the policy the security policy okay and we have to commit this okay so friends uh, the commit has been done successfully now we are going to do a category block so basically uh, we'll try to find out what is the youtube category uh, which category it falls under and we'll try to block it and we'll see whether youtube is getting blocked or not Okay, we'll try to see that. So let's say for an example, this is the website. You guys can take this website or I'll put this website into this description link. If you want to find any category of any link, you can just come here and you can put the URL. So let's say if I'm putting www.youtube.com. Okay, and uh, you just need to click on this. Okay, traffic light that is fine next motorcycle okay let's search for it now when you search it will display you this category and also risk level risk level we don't need to do anything but this is the category and this is the category of streaming media right so i'll go back to palo alto i'll go back to objects and in the URL filtering, in the security profiles, my lab profile, and then I will search for streaming media. Okay. And it shows as allow. I'll try to block this. Okay. And I'll click OK. And let's commit this configuration. While the commit is happening, let's go back to our test PC and we'll try to test it from the PC okay so let's open the console of the PC let's open the browser and we'll see the status of the commit so it is about to happen which is already a 99% okay so we'll just try to open the PC again okay so it's been done Let's open this and we'll try to access YouTube 
blockedcom and you can see that it is getting blocked right so whatever streaming category streaming media category whatever the website falls under this category everything will be get blocked so we have seen how we are basically blocking a category so friends uh, now with ssl decryption uh, we are getting web, web page blocked uh, we are going to see what is the role of ssl decryption so let's disable the ssl decryption rule so i want to just disable this so let's disable and let's commit this so i'll stop the video while the commit is happening as you can see the commit has been done uh, successfully i'll go back to the topology i'll open the pc and i'll try to so now the message is not appearing but the website is getting blocked right if i try to search let's say for an example if i go to google.com and on google if i try to search something like youtube and if i go to any youtube page it is basically allowing me or if i try to open any of the youtube videos it is not allowing me to open it as well okay now let's do an experiment uh, we'll go to objects and we are going to url filtering and in the url filtering i'll go to streaming media and i am allowing this or let's put the continue okay click okay and i'll put the policy turn on let's enable the policy and let's commit this okay now while it is committing again i'm stopping the video here as you can see the commit has been successfully done i'll try to go to youtube again now you can see a continue button because the action that you have chosen is continue let's click on continue and we are able to open the youtube we have not blocked it but we have taken another action to click on continue if you click on continue you will be basically redirected to youtube right now let's do one thing let's disable this decryption policy now okay and let's commit this okay and now we'll refresh the page and we'll see whether that continue option is coming for us or not okay so we'll wait again for commit process to get completed so i'll just stop the video again so friends the commit process has been done successfully let's go back to the test pc again and we'll try to access youtube <coughs> okay so let's open youtube from here now you can see that the connection is getting blocked or basically getting reset so it is basically blocking the connection okay so blocking the connection means that the firewall is not allowing and that message is not coming for us right the continue message and if i turn this on again and if i commit this okay if i does or if i try to refresh the page once the commit process done okay you will see that i'll again started getting the continue message again so just wanted to show you or just wanted to verify that uh, i'm just stopping or i'm just waiting for commit to done okay so uh, again i'm going to stop this video so friends as you can see uh, that commit process done let's try to refresh this page again now we have started getting the continue now from where you can see whether the block is happening or not so you can go to monitor okay and if you go to url filtering you will see that all the policies all the block that is happening like it is taking action as block continue you can see for youtube.com if you go further you will see that it is the action is block continue category is streaming media and you will see the rule name as well which is inside internet so you can see all this information 
from here that it is getting blocked like if you go and if you want to highlight the policy actions you can just highlight that like this you can highlight the policy like whatever that you have chosen you can just highlight that policy action so it is showing as uh, block continue okay once you click on continue you will be able to go to the website okay now if you want to know what are the other action that is there if you can just tell me in the comments i can put a separate video specifically for the action this is just to show you guys that how ssl decryption is helping us in url filtering so ssl decryption is needed i'm not saying that ssl if ssl decryption is not configured the ssl uh, the a block will not happen it will happen but uh, there will be some of the things which uh, palo alto monitors it will not happen okay because that will be a encrypted connection and after encryption he will be on uh, palo alto will not be able to see what is happening so uh, friends this is what i wanted to cover in this video thank you so much for watching till the end and i'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any video from me thank you so much and i'll see you in the next